Hello everyone and welcome. This is IDX TV at the WMX Asia Conference 2022 live in Bangkok. And today I'm here with Edmund Ng from Melissa. So how are you doing? I'm doing great. Very excited to be in Bangkok. Yeah? <laughs> is this always. your first time? No, it's not my first time. I live in Singapore. We come here all the time. <laughs> oh, okay, great. So we want to know more yeah. about uh, Melissa, but before that, how do you feel to be here at the WMX conference? It's good to be in a physical conference after yeah. three years. Always good to be uh, in the industry and, and meeting new people. Uh, of course, very happy to, to be uh, meeting people in the post and parcel industry. Okay, yeah. so what we want to know now, Mr. Edmund, yes. is more about your company. What does Melissa do and what are your key features? Absolutely, so we are a global data quality provider. Mm -hmm. We specialize in customer data. Yep. Uh, we work with lots of logistic companies and retail companies to help them uh, smoothen the customer journey, uh, ensure deliverability, develop, deliverability, I'm sorry. It's okay. <laughs> Over 240 countries and markets that we serve. Um, wow. I think it's very important, I know we're at the conference, uh, return is obviously a very big industry, a very yeah. big market opportunity mm. for mm. Uh, postal and parcel industry. Mm. Uh, and that's exactly what we do. We verify, address to, uh, verify addresses mm. to help them uh, ensure that they're being delivered uh, to the people, to provide them with, uh, to avoid losses uh, and wastage, and of course, uh, uh, reduce fraud as well. Wow, that's great. It yeah. seems that Melissa has a lot of key features. Yes. Now, what we want to know is what is your unique selling point or USP? Absolutely. So we ensure consistent uh, uh, the quality across all the 240 mm -hmm. markets that we serve. Uh, and we don't utilize just a single source of data. We actually leverage on multiple sources of data to ensure that our customers actually receive the best form of uh, the data that they want. Um, mm -hmm. Of course, that helps them uh, reduce wastage, uh, mm -hmm. prevent uh, a non-delivery. Oh, okay. Yeah. So when you talk about the data that you have, these yes. are big data, right? Well, not big data, but actually we're talking about uh, address data. We, oh, we do okay. uh, phone and email verification mm -hmm. as well. Um, that those are the, those are technology. Mm. Yeah. So is that more for the producer? What about for the consumers? Um, well, we we work a more. It's a B two B business, so we yeah. tend to work with uh, businesses. Uh, mm. Retail, uh, uh, retail customers are one of our big customers and of course mm. logistic providers as well. Mm. Uh, we work with some of the key uh, leaders in this market as well in the mm. postal industry. Some of them actually attend these of these uh, events as well. Yeah. Wow, so you give the producers and business a peace of mind that yeah. the customers are real, not robots. Absolutely or correct. Not, not frauds, right? Absolutely oh, right. Oh, yes. wow, that's great. Yeah. So talking about this market, the Southeast Asia market has grown significantly over the past four years. Mm -hmm. We've seen a 30 plus 36% increase in terms of e-commerce and mm -hmm. also delivery and parcels. How are you able to keep up with this immense growth in terms of e-commerce and also the parcel market, which has grown significantly over the past four years? Yeah, and I think that's a very good question to ask. Um, now, I think as the volume grows, it's more and more important for you to actually leverage on new technologies that are out mm -hmm. in the market uh, to serve your customers mm -hmm. better. And that's exactly what we do. Uh, we help our customers smoothen uh, their journey uh, and to make it easier for people to uh, buy things, uh, mm -hmm. you know, and that makes it that allows them to sort of, uh, uh, sort of, uh, uh, again, you know, be able to deal with the issue of fraud mm -hmm. um, and uh, you know to serve the customers better. I think that's very important. Yeah. Wow. So, what are the steps in terms of uh, verification that you know that these are real customers mm -hmm. who are buying products to give the business and producer a peace of mind? Uh, absolutely, a very good question. So, all the, it's one, of, one of the few things, one of the things that we do, of course, is to ensure you know that the people are the people that they say they are, and we do that through a number of ways. We okay. do name verification, mm -hmm. we do email and phone verification, mm -hmm. and of course, um, addresses is probably one of the cheapest way uh, to yeah. prevent fraud because yeah. you know, obviously, without a physical address, mm -hmm. uh, you know that. That also, mm. also also means that you know this person could potentially be a fraudster. Mm. Yeah. What is some of the uh, frauds that you can spot out that this is not a real person, this is a fraud? Mm -hmm. Is there any any uh, ways that you can instantly tell that this is not real? Yeah, of course. If, you know, if your phone numbers are not callable, that's a very good sign. Oh, Emails wow. are not mailable as well. Uh, you know, and with our with our uh, address verification, we can actually go to a very deep process to help you understand whether these addresses are deliverable or not. Mm. So that's very important. Oh wow, yeah. it is. So would you share and unwrap some e-commerce and postal? last milestone and trends you are seeing right now? Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, as uh, we hear early on, I think one of the opportunities that uh, needs to be taken advantage of is the returns. Mm -hmm. and I think that's something that the postal industry uh, is well posted to, to uh, be able to serve, mm -hmm. um, but it's not really being leveraged on. 
Uh, and I think you know we, we are well placed in that market to help our customers to achieve that. Wow, that's great. Yeah. And uh, this question is a really important question. Yeah. Asia market needs solid players to come in and give directions and support to the growing industry. What performance related solutions do you see are relevant to this? Well, um, I think certainly uh, from, from the perspective of our, our, our business, uh, mm -hmm. I think smoothening uh, you know, the customer journey is a very important thing to do. I think mm -hmm. that prevents uh, uh, card ab abandonment you know, in an e-shopping context. <clears throat> and you know, as volumes increase, you know, it's important to be able to do this quicker and more efficiently. Mm -hmm. And I think technology is really the way to go. Yeah, so I want to ask the next question. Yeah. Since there is so much competition going yes. on, what innovation and technology have you brought to Melissa to yes. future-proof your company? Well, I, I think uh, we were constantly in the need, uh, looking out for, for new partners. As I said earlier on, one of our uh, key strengths is the fact that you know, we don't rely on a single source of data. Uh, we work with data partners you know, to ensure that we have a complete solution for oh, our customer. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, and we maintain that whole consistency throughout the 240 markets that we serve. So your yeah. business mainly focuses on data, both yes. for the customer and for the business as well. Yes, just that's to right. Give both sides a peace of mind. Absolutely correct. Yeah. Wow. So when talking about return management, it's a major focus that most company are interested in or are concerned about, including yes. consumers. What do you think is the reason for increase of returns in terms of products and commodities? Well, I think uh, now it's almost become an expectation, mm -hmm. you know, when, uh, when customers purchase products, yeah. uh, they expect uh, you know, it to be returned, uh, you know, they expect, expect the return policies to be available. So yeah. I think that's already a standard. Um, I think it's important that we, we, we serve that market uh, very well. Make sure I think very much to the ethos of our company as well to smoothen the customer journey mm. uh, to ensure that they actually receive the best experience possible. Mm. Yeah. So that's really important, right? Yeah. To return and to come back again. Yes, yeah. of course. To encourage, it, uh, yeah. repurchase. <laughs> so moving on to the next question. Is e-commerce fulfillment a major focus for your company? And if so, in your view, what are the main reasons you are seeing an increase in this platform? Well, I, I think e-commerce has been very important uh, for, for, our, uh, for our market uh, mm -hmm. uh, as a whole. I think, you know, uh, in the past we were serving a lot of these sort of uh, uh, fintech, uh, financial type services. Um, but because of the pandemic, I think there's a drive towards yeah. uh, technology mm -hmm. and, you know, e-commerce is obviously mm -hmm. a, a very important focus for us. So just, just in the last uh, uh, years, we've, we've met a lot of new customers. Uh, you know, in the Asia Pacific uh, the region, uh, where there's a focus, you know, uh, to, to serve their customers better, and it's very important for us to uh, be be there uh, for for this uh, industry. Great, yeah. and I think a lot of people are interested now in Melissa short term, mid term, and long term goals. Since we are at the final quarter of 2022, yes. What are your goals going into 2023, both short, mid, and long term goals? That's a very good question. Yeah. I don't have an answer for you right now. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> But I think from, from my perspective in the Asia Pacific, I think it's to better serve uh, the market. Mm -hmm. um, I think, you know, uh, in our business, uh, data quality um, and data availability is a very important mm -hmm. uh, uh, function mm -hmm. of, of our success. Yeah. Um, so it's looking at, uh, you know, bringing on new partners to serve our customers better. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, we, we recently part partnered uh, with a uh, leading postal pro provider in the mm -hmm. Asia Pacific uh, to to actually have better quality data. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's certainly something they want to do. And also, uh, of course, uh, uh, getting uh, our, our name out there, I think mm -hmm. in the Asia Pacific, I think our focus is still very uh, driven from our head office in the US. I think that's where we're very well known for. Uh, but to be able to get the exposure in the Asia Pacific would be one, one of my goals, yeah. And finally, how do you feel about being part of this conference yeah. since it's such a big conference yes. and being interviewed by our program <laughs> as well? How do you feel about IDX TV here? Um, very happy to, to be part of the, uh, the interview. I think uh, uh, to, I'd also be really proud to represent my company. Yep. Uh, I hope to meet more people uh, in, in mm -hmm. the course of the, the two days. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, looking forward to everything. Yeah. Well, we'd like to thank Edmund thank Ng you. very much from Melissa. And you're watching IDX TV sponsored by CCL. Thank you.